Hello, my name is Tony Okello with Runner's Edge. I am a 5K, 10K runner. I've run a few half marathons as well. Uh, my 10K PR is 2755.09 and my 5K PR is 13.33. Uh, today I want to talk to us about the basic building blocks for distance running and that is the best runs. Best runs are accumulation of short runs like six miles, five miles, done at a comfortable pace. It is the bulk of a distance runner's mileage. I start my best training, best runs with like four miles, then increase to five miles. Gradually, before I know, I'll be able to do 10 miles. And usually, it's advisable to do best runs for at least two to three weeks before you start incorporating other types of workouts. And what naturally follows best runs are long runs. And long runs is actually a type of best run, but it lasts longer, anywhere from 10 miles to 20 miles depending on your level of fitness and how long you have been doing best runs. Long runs should be done at a comfortable pace too and depending on the terrain or the course you're running. Some courses are hilly, some are flat. Usually what I do when I'm doing my long runs on a hilly course is when I'm going up I tend to increase the pace. And when I'm going down, I tend to relax. So in effect, I'm turning it like, a, making it appear like a tempo run. So it's helpful. And also that depends on at what stage of the season I'm in and let my level of fitness. If my fitness, I'm just building it up, my long runs will be as comfortable as possible. Sometimes I do my long runs at anywhere from 6, 13 to even 7 minutes at the beginning of the season. At the middle of the season, my long run sometimes can be from anywhere from five minute pace to 5.25. That's when I'm in shape. So it all depends on what time of the season it is and your level of fitness. Thank you.